This article contains spoilers for the latest chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen despite a significant bundle of evidence suggesting Jujutsu Kaisen that Yuji Itadori is Kenjaka's son. His participation in the culling game proves they cannot be blood relatives. The identity of Yuji's parents has been one of Jujutsu Kaisen's greatest mysteries. Fans know he had a grandfather, but for much of the story, Mangaka Gerger Akutami, kept the identity of Yuji's parents under wraps. However, since he was not born with cursed energy, his family background did not seem as important as those with massive family ties including Megumi, Maki, and Noritoshi Kamo. Nevertheless, as the story developed, there was a growing need to understand Yuji's family history, and how it tied into the bigger story. In Jujutsu Kaisen No. 143 the identities of Yuji's parents are revealed for the first time, but the reveal added more confusion than clarity. Fans learned that Yuji's mother Kaori had a head scar similar to those seen on the elder Noritoshi Kamo as well as Suguru Ghetto. This suggested Kenjaku was in control of Kaori while she was pregnant with Yuji. If he was present with Kaori at the time of conception, then Yuji would indeed be Kenjaku's son. There is a lot of circumstantial evidence that suggests he was. For instance, in Jujutsu Kaisen number 135, Choso, the son of Kenjaku via his possession of the older Noritoshi Kamo, senses that Yuji is his brother. However, despite the evidence suggesting that Yuji is Kenjaku's son, the series' newest chapter proves otherwise. Kenjaku initiated the culling games, ostensibly to prepare the next generation of sorcerers for the coming golden age of sorcery. To accomplish this, the game is being held in a battle royale format where the winner is the last sorcerer or cursed spirit standing. Naturally, he has ulterior motives, but at least one goal of the game is to identify the strongest sorcerers and cursed spirits while culling, or eliminating the weakest. Originally, Yuji was not set to participate, however, in order to help save Megumi's sister and free Satoru Gojo, Yuji entered the competition and will not be able to leave, according to the rules of the game, unless he wins. Yuji's participation is the strongest evidence possible that he is not Kenjaku's son. While Kenjaku might have been in possession of Kaori when she was pregnant with Yuji, he was not present when she became pregnant. This is an important difference. There are many reasons why Kenjaku would want a child. His nine attempts to have children with Choso's mother belies his desire for offspring. At least one consideration for having children was likely that he hoped they might become the special entity that could usher in the return of sorcerers to greatness. Whatever the reason, he would likely want his child to live a long and prosperous life. Moreover, with his understanding of history, he'd also likely want to protect his child from the risks he knows so well. That is, unless he has some super effective plan to ensure that Yuji will win the culling game, it doesn't make sense that he would allow his offspring to take part in a competition that will more than likely lead to his death. Kenjaku wouldn't be able to help Yuji as that would upset the whole purpose of the game. While Yuji may indeed be Kenjaku's child. Indeed, he's proven that his mindset is unlike anyone else in the Jujutsu Kaisen universe. But for someone so averse to chance, having been burned by it before, Kenjaku is the last person who would let the future of someone as important as his child be left to chance. The latest chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen is available now on Viz Media's Shonen Jump app.